Hi guys, it's Ellie, and I'm back with a brand new video. And in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to build an awesome base really easily so you can learn step by step to build a base. Oh my god, people are dying in here. I might have to go in here as well. Put your hands up in the air right now. Working guns? No. Put your hands up in the air. How would I do that? I don't know. The advent mark is like. Doing that. In mine now. I'll give you one hit. There you go. You're welcome. I gave him a shipment of honey badges instead. Jesus Christ, there's a big base! Yep, so. There's a lot of crap going on. I'm on my server today, guys. Link in the description below if you want to come join. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. It helps a lot. Also, drop a like and a comment. Tell me how your day's going. And, uh, yeah, I hope you're having a great day anyway. Okay, let's build a base. Like I said, I might build it here. I'll also teach you how to save it because a lot of people want to know how to save. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a base here. Oh, actually, no, I won't. Because someone owns a bloody door. Let's go find a base in a, in a nice location somewhere out the way so people won't block my printers. Oh, actually, we could do this house. Yeah, yeah, this house. All right, so the main thing you want to learn about this server is there is guns that can shoot through walls. So there's these electronic guns. I think they're called the X8s. And they can shoot directly through walls, so you need to block the walls up. And this is my point that I try to make to people. A lot of people go, oh, it shot me through the wall. I want a refund. But you can't get a refund because the gun's meant to shoot through the wall. So here we go. Let's put something down. Some plastic. That's plastic. There it is. All right, so we want a large plastic precision. You shoot it right here. So precision tool is right there. Then you want to click on move. That's just there. You shoot on this. And then you bring it up here like this so all we're doing now is just setting up defenses and then we're going to do a secret wall there and our printer's going to be sitting in there all right how are we going to get to the same material like that i don't know so i'm going to go upstairs and quickly push it down if it's up yeah you can right click to push there we go easy peasy they'll probably look at this and go hang on there's a hole there so right now hold downstairs now this is where the fun part comes in so now if i change it to this and you see it's got the shadow on it you can actually remove that shadow remove that shadow so the whole thing looks like one thing and people won't know it's just here hopefully you see you can remove the shadows <laughs> all right so people can't shoot through there they can come up and down the stairs but i'm going to change that in a second by bringing this forwards so if i go to this and move this like this i'm bringing it across as far as i can there we go you see People are like, oh, these are all the walls. So where's about is the thing? They won't know. It's just here. I'm going to make a, a little thing just here where you can walk through. But they won't know. There'll be a hole there for a printer. And they'll be like, I haven't got no printers. And they'll come in and they're like, oh, okay. And then they'll leave. I hope. Right, that looks really bad on the ceiling. All right, let's bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. And also, guys, if you have Twitter, I would like you to send me a picture of your base. A lot of you guys have been sending me pictures of your... Oh, no, it's gone in the wall. <laughs> I just lost it. No. A lot of people have sent me pictures of their base. Well, it weren't their base. They were, it was their shops that they made. What's really nice. I would like to see your shops if you have them. If you've built them, just take a screenshot of them and send it to me on Twitter. You'll see a little thing pop up on the screen now. And that's my Twitter. And you can just send it to me. Just at me. And I'll check them out. I really love seeing all your faces on there. You guys are really good builders. I'm not going to lie. I've seen some good builders in my time, but... You guys are one of the best. All right, this is where we're going to be shooting from, so we're protected on the roof here, look. Okay, now we've got the protection around our base, and this is going to be no collided, so I'll show you in a second. Depending on what base you want, if you want to shoot through the hole with a death laser, because some people have lasers, uh, you'll need to go a different route if you can do that. But if you can do this one where you're going to just shoot through, you could use my way. My way or the highway. People will say it's hard to build, but it's not. You just got to get used to doing it. That's the thing. It's just getting used to it. Building bases. You can even sell bases if you want to. If you're really good at building them, yet you can sell the bases. So, like to destroy it, they'll have to walk through here. If you get me, and then the defense door is going to be just here. But I'm going to make another defense just there. This, but they have to be able to walk through it. So I'm making it so they can't. They can't just shoot it. It'll be on on this this bit here. So they'll have to walk around to shoot it and they'll kill themselves with the death laser because death laser can instantly go through it it'll just eat through it like it was nothing so that's why you need to watch out with them death laser boys that's the most powerful weapon in this game and if you do get your hands on one keep it don't get rid of it don't swap it there we go and then i'll stick another one underneath for more defense oh there we go sorry guys taking a while but that's what happens when you build it takes a while 
It really does. Right, you see it's got a weird shadow in it. You can remove that, like I said before. There we go. Looks all oh, there's one now. And it makes it look really good, actually. Lights them up like that. We need another one of these biggins. Biggin, biggin, biggin. Where are you, biggin? Nope. Not that one. That's too big. That's the next size up. So what I need is the one down from that. So I got that one. It's that one. There we go. We position this. We put it on here like this. Bang. We bring it down just a notch. There we go. Look at that. There we go. That is absolutely perfect, guys. You couldn't want for a better base. This is perfect. You got a place to shoot them through here if they're annoying you. Now what to do? These bad boys are the, these are your best friends, okay? So we need these to have a material uh, like that, so we know which way to, you can look through. And then you shoot it, that, put it downwards, and then you put this end over here. And you put it quite close to here because when you walk through, you want to be able to shoot them. So you want it quite close to here, just like that. And what happens is you walk through it and then you can shoot it. I'll make these all no collided and you can walk through. So that, that's the best way to do a base that i found anyway. My whole time playing the game, that's the best way. Even doing the doors, you know, where you do the buttons and stuff. They're really cool, but they just don't work too well there. But you see it's too it's too far that way. So what you do is bring it this way. You bring it as far as you can. To about there, I reckon. Yeah, to about there. Bring it this way just a little bit. And then you put a pillar in there. All you do, you go plastics and you'll find yourself a pillar, like one of these. There we go. Position it, and you actually shoot it against this. Well, it sounds a bit like dodgy, but it's not. That's all perfect now. And all you do is you make that, so that's no collider as well, so you can walk through it like this. But you see it's quite close to the edge, so we might have to watch out. But you can overlap them. There's nothing saying you can't overlap them. I really do love building on this game, guys. I don't know what your suggestion is to building. Like, do you guys like building? I know I bloody do. I've been playing this game for such a long time. Way back. Way back. All right, see, so look, if I dump this on here, you'll see. You see, it goes over a little bit, but you can push it in. So if you do move, push it, you'll see. You can still see through it, just it overlaps just a little bit. Put it to there. You see it overlaps? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how it overlaps. It won't cause any trouble. You'll still see them and you can still shoot them. Material. Oh, bloody hell. All right, I'm not going to shoot too much of that. Oh my god, you can't see it. <laughs> oh my god, you can't see it. That is so white. With this shadow remove, it makes it all so white. Look. You go out there, you cannot see the. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> so white. Okay. Oh my god. There we go. And now we use a small one. Like this. We put this just. You only want it so you can't get underneath, really. I mean, you can almost get underneath for this, so we can move it. Move it a bit more down. Like so. We don't want to bring it in too far. We want it to bring it in so it's almost touched. There we go. So, like there. So it starts to go in just there. And then what you do is you go to color. And if you see here, this little bar, it's the alpha. You can change it all the way to see through. And if you shoot it, you go see through. It's still there, but it's see through, completely see through. And then you no collide all this. So you know, like this, like this, and this, and this. You'll be able to walk through, but you can't get all the way through because you can't see it there, but you can shoot people. That's our main goal, is to shoot people through this. So people walk in, you're like, bah, bah, bah. I mean, this is so bright. I can't even look at it. It's just so bright. I'm actually going to do posts. I've done it before. They're, they're pretty cool. They're just, all, they're, all it is is just a post, like a plastic post. That's in the way. They'll have to remove it before they can get in. So I normally do a little thin one like this. There we go. And then you pick it up, move it. You don't want it going in the roof either, so you have to make sure it's below a certain height. But it needs to be in the way, of course. So it needs to be like, where it's just in the way. Where it's just not enough room to move, like that. So you can, you can see through there, you can get in there, but you'll need to remove this and remove the next one to get in. It's gonna be pretty good. All right, so let's move that in for now and then move it back there we go and then there's going to be one just there one more it's going to be a little thin thing because, because the gap is so small you don't really need something large something like this or oh, balls something like this against the wall like so i've made it so you can't shoot it at that angle and it's difficult to get in there we go and we'll change the color of that we'll change that to yellow like this there we go how to remove the 
There we go, they can see it now. There we go, this is a perfect base for you guys. And also, remember what I did in the corner here. I actually made this so you can walk through. And you can hide your printer in here. That'd be pretty dope, to be fair. I mean, you have to keep it no collide. You can't put your printer in there and then collide it and then go out. You can't do that because you'll get done for a foul base. But if you keep it no collide and make a little doorway somewhere so at least they can walk through or find a way in, then you're fine. And what I normally do is I do it like that and then I'll, I'll do it so it looks like I'm having my printer just here. So it makes it look like I'm going to slot my printer behind there. If you guys play the, the server, you know what I mean. Everyone does these slot, slot things where their printer sits in. And then you do one on top as well, like this. And then you do a post like this. People are climbing inside the base already. And then we do a post like this. And th that normally keeps your printer in if you want to advertise your printer, if you've got God mode. But if you haven't got the money to make it in God mode, because the printers have a God mode now, uh, you can make it so you can actually crouch through this. So if you jump up here, you can actually get through. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get out, though. If we're going to have to find a way. Uh, well, actually, what we could do is just no collide this. If we no collide this, then people will look at that and they'll go, like, ah. Oh. They'll walk up to it and they'll go, ah, oh, I can't. And then you have to crouch to get in there, look. That would be pretty dope, wouldn't it? It's actually a tunnel. It's all good, and your printer will be in there. So they still can't get your printer out. Even if they try to get your printer out, they can't get your printer out of there. So you can leave it in there, and it'll be safe. You, you can just leave it in there. As long as, if you've got God Mode on, it'll still be safe. It's just we've got less chance of someone actually stealing the stuff. And then shoot it with this. And then we can change the shadow so it doesn't have that stupid shadow on it. There we go. You can see that line like, whoa. What we can do is do a KOS sign just here saying if you pass this line, it's KOS. Also, if it's inside, it's KOS. But a lot of people are going to break this to get in. They're going to break this to try and get in. But it's all right. Just let them break it. They can't damage you inside. So and then you can lock this. All right. To save it. Okay. So you click on this. Click on copy area. Just make it really big. Hold shift and right click and everything goes green you'll see it you and then you right click again and it'll start ghosting everything and then you go here and you go save and you can call it whatever uh new base og or whatever you like and then save now it's saved and then you, if you go on here you'll be able to see new base og xxxx there so there we go i will post this so you can use it if you want to and now I'm going to start actually using it. I'm going to start basing here and see how many people come in. It'll be quite fun. Let's sort out the KOS sign first. Hello? Mr. Silverman, no? Don't touch kill me, please. I've got some guy called Silverman outside. Let's purchase a print up. Obviously, we need to try and get it in there. So, so what we do is we go here. Upgrade. God. Max. Let's spend all my money. Why not? Absolutely silent. Lovely. Let's now no collide this. Like so. Like that. And then you re-collide this and voila. They don't know it's in there. Hello? hello? You want to do a deal? We can do a deal? You like, you like to play? I dropped the suit. I've got strikers actually. I could use a striker. Well, come on in. Enjoy yourself and come in and raid. I'd like to see you try. This guy's going to raid me quite hard. Let me put a camera up as well before I forget. I want to see if he actually, if he kills me, I want to see if he actually gets in. Where's the camera? Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot the camera here. And uh, there's the camera. And what you could do is we can put the camera here like this. And if I press zero, I can see myself like, hello, I'm here, do you see me, hello? And then what you can do is you can now make that invisible. So if you go to color and change this to zero again, it's invisible. But if I press zero, ta-da! I can see if they're inside. Uh, hey. Look at that, death laser straight away. Ow! Hello, hello, how are you? This, this, this might call for a bigger suit, to be fair. Ooh. Ow! Here we go, look, let me click this. <laughs> they're gonna find out they know it's there they know it's there they know it's there but they can't they don't look look at them they're like ants they know it's there they think it's there's no way of getting in there but there is <laughs> he found it he found it 
<laughs> they actually found it. Well, that was really good, though. I guess they don't. Maybe they're just out to raid. Oh, we're getting really good with this. <laughs> right, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a Spidey can. Hello, William. Willie. William, just let me in, man. It's all good. Hi, William. How you doing? You better lock that door up. You'll need yourself a printer, my friend. Oh, mate. You need to you need to protect yourself. There's, I, no, um... there's no point calling the police. It's not going to help you. All right, you need to protect yourself. And you need this in God Starting mode. Up. There we go. Now it's protected. It can't be shot, though. It's protected. It's in God mode, my friend. Here, I'll help you. Oh. The little buttons at the bottom there. Uh, you'll need to put it in a box. I didn't know you could. Thanks. There we go. You can upgrade each printer, by the oh way, as well. God. You can upgrade each printer. So if you click on printers and you click on the number, Pardon? you can upgrade each oh, printer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just didn't know if you knew. All right. So if you now you need to block it in, my friend. Otherwise, someone's going to steal it. All right. I'm going to leave you to it, all right? Take it easy. All right, that guy, I didn't really want to raid because he's got nothing. And it's not really fair for me to raid him when he's got absolutely nothing. So I've just helped him out so he's got a bit of money. Then later on, I can raid him and take all his money. Hi, how's it going? They couldn't get my printer out. They couldn't get my printer out. So here we go, here's my printer. Oh, I make 200k. Nice. Oh, and 201 XP. Hello. Please don't go past the line, thank you, and don't come back. I have an alien gun now. How did that kill him? <laughs> there was a metal plate there. You can't shoot through it. Look, there's a metal plate there. So how the hell did I kill him? That's so funny. That alien gun's OP, man. I didn't know it can go through no collided props. That's really serious. Would you like to do some deals? I have some weapons and some tier one armors, if you like. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, so uh, would you like to buy some? I have a striker for sale, if you like a striker. Uh, yeah, I'll get some, ooh, I'll get some armors. You got some armors, did you? What armors do you have? Tier ones. No, so I, I said I'd buy some. Oh, you'll buy some? I haven't got loads. I haven't got loads, I've got a few. I have 10 tier mm. ones you can buy. Okay, yeah, I'll, 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 sure, I'll, I'll be back in a minute, I'll just get some money. Alright. Alright. I don't know where he's going to get money from because there is no bank account on it. Maybe he's going to print it somewhere like me. How are you doing? Right, I got ten tier ones. How much money you got? Give me an offer. Mm, well, I don't know how much a tier ones are normally worth. Uh, I don't know. Not worth a lot, really, because you can get them like all over the place. So uh, I'll probably say ten k each. Ten k each. So like a hundred k for ten. Would that be all right? But can I just buy five though? Can five, I buy five? Five. Yeah. Fi yeah. Fifty k. Yeah. Come, come in, man. Come in. Okay. The deal is fifty k. Drop me fifty k, and then uh, yeah. I'll, I'll drop your suits. Then we're gonna drop, 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 drop. There we go. Perfect. Hello, hello, Voldemort. Oh my good sir. How you doing on this fine evening? Iron Man. How you doing? Where's your base? I need to know where your base is because I want to knock and uh, deliver a package. All these people mining for materials. Ah, wow! You blocked off all of there. Please go away. Please go away. Alright, listen, look, listen. Shut I'll give up. you I'll give you five hundred K to raid your own base. Easy money. Easy money. Okay. <laughs> I help. Go, go, go. Fucking base. Base raid, base raid, base raid. Well, it's not really raiding. He's just Please let me in. Raid. I am stuck inside this one. There we go, you see? Me, I'm stuck as well, mate. Alright guys, I'll be off. I'll be taking uh, this printer here. You have a fantastic day. And yep, uh, if you open up the doors for me, I'll give you some cash for this printer. And yeah, for real. No! Ah! Why would you do this? <laughs> God damn it, I knew they weren't going to let me. The instantly pulled out his uh, freeze ray, I knew. Hey, hey, bro, hey. Hey. Hey, listen. There's some guy raid my base right now. There's some guy raid my base. Can you help me? Hold on, hold on. Wait for me. He's inside, he's inside. Go, go, go. I'll open up doors. I'll open up doors. <laughs> I 
I got you back! I got you back, boy! <laughs> I'm a bad person, I know you could say it. Come on. That was quite a funny. <laughs> Hello, yeah, come inside. Let me open the door for you. Hang on, let me open the door. <laughs> bye! Bye, have a great time! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Come join the server, link in the description below, and I'll see you on the server. You can just join randomly. I'm normally joined any server from the UK servers. I've got three UK servers, and I've got three US servers. So I normally join them randomly. You'll probably see me on the US server. You'll probably see me on a UK server. So yeah, see you on the server, guys. Bye-bye.